Prince Harry is said to beg Prince Charles and the Queen to let him return to the UK as the Duke feels unhappy in the US. The Duke of Sussex allegedly had an important realization about his life in the United States with his wife, Meghan Markle, and their two children, Archie and Lilibet Diana. Prince Harry is not happy in the United States, but he trying to convince his wife that he is for fear that he would hurt her feelings. A source claimed that Prince Harry has been begging Prince Charles and Queen Elizabeth to allow him to return to the United Kingdom with his children, but the two senior royals have not budged. After all, they don't want to shoulder the Sussex family's travel expenses only to get into more drama with Markle when she returns home. The insider also claimed that after Prince Harry returns to the United Kingdom for a short vacation, he hopes to return to the United States to pack his bags before relocating to the United Kingdom permanently. He also wants to return to his royal duties. He wants to rejoin the royal fold. But the ultimate decision rests with Her Majesty and he knows she's furious at him for heaping scandal and scorn on the family. So, he's shamelessly using his father to get to his steel-willed grandmother and beg her to approve his return with Meghan and their young kids, the source said. Prince Harry has also been using Prince Charles as his leverage to return to his royal duties. The source claimed that the father and son have been in contact with each other because Prince Charles believes that the best time for the Duke of Sussex to return home is in June for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. However, even if Prince Charles and Prince Harry's strained relationship seems to be thawing, the same cannot be said about the Queen. After all, the monarch was at the center of all the royal family scandals in the past couple of years. Harry knows the Queen will be a hard nut to crack. The pain he and Meghan have caused her is immeasurable, the source said. This isn't the first time that Prince Harry was rumored to be struggling with his life in the United States. This is because, since moving to the US, the Sussexes have not returned to UK soil as a family of four. Currently, it is not yet known whether Meghan, Harry and their two children will travel across the pond to join in Her Majesty's celebrations. While a trip for the Queen and her 11th great-grandchild to meet could be on the horizon, PR expert Kinsey Schofield claims the timing of the meeting is all important. Ms. Schofield claims a meeting between the Queen and her namesake great-grandchild would be best suited outside of an established celebration like Her Majesty's upcoming Platinum Jubilee. The founder of Los Angeles-based Royals site also claims a specific and private trip between the monarch and baby Lily would be in everyone's best interest. She told that, I think a specific and private trip to meet the Queen versus infringing on an established celebration like the Jubilee would be in everyone's best interest. The trip would not distract from the Queen's efforts and there would likely be less of a safety concern. June is also particularly poignant this year for the monarch, as it is when most of the celebrations for her Platinum Jubilee occur. The full program of the celebrations for her historic year includes a pudding competition, parades, concerts and a four-day bank holiday. Celebrations for the occasion are planned throughout the year, including one which falls on Meghan and Harry's daughter's first birthday. According to the royal website, the event, which will be staged and broadcast by the BBC, will bring together some of the world's biggest entertainment stars. Some of the world's biggest